All right. For today, I have a fun, what I hope at least is a fun video. Uh, I recently ordered from Latitude 64 Factory Store uh, online the Summer Mystery Box, as they called it. And this box is supposed to contain five discs, including a signature series disc from uh, Jonathan and Johannes. Um, if you watch any of Latitude 64's uh, YouTube videos, then you're well uh, acquainted with Jonathan and Johannes. Um, they do excellent, excellent disc golf content. A lot of fun, fun to watch. And frankly, well, if I'm being honest, I probably didn't need any more discs. Um, I actually really just bought it well, mostly just to support them um, because it, it said it was a signature series disc from them, which made me think that, you know, that was probably a, a way to support the channel and, and the content and all the work that they put into it. So that's why I bought it. Of course, the Trilogy, Latitude 64, Dynamic Discs, and Westside Discs are some of my favorite discs. They're probably uh, discs from, from those you know, sort of three companies make up probably 75% of my bag. So here's to hoping that I actually will get some discs that I'll use. But yeah, so with that said, um, I have taken the liberty of opening the box up and removing my address label because I didn't really want to publish that on YouTube. So... Uh, you won't get that, but instead, uh, we can actually dig right into um, the discs. So, well, first, a piece of paper. And our first disc out is in plastic wrap. And we have a, let's see, dynamic discs. It's plastic wrap out of here. Uh, with a B dynamic stamp. And this is a trespass. Now the trespass, uh, as you can see by the probably the rim alone, is a distance driver. Uh, let's see here, it's actually a overstable distance driver. Trespass um, looks like a speed of 12, glide five, turn negative 0.5, and a fade of three. So very overstable. Um, this for me will probably be super overstable. Uh, I think I actually have a trespass. I think I actually got one, and I bought one other mystery box a while back, and I'm pretty sure a trespass came in that as well. Uh, being honest, I don't think I've actually thrown it yet, so I'll have to give uh, at least one of those a go. I like the little stamp, though, so solid, solid start, I guess. All right, so that was the trespass. Let's see what's next. Ooh, I like this one. At least the stamp is kind of cool. They got a bunch of rocks all around the west side discs. Our logo. Uh, let's see. This is what is this? This is a stag. I don't know if you can make out the wording there, but that is a stag. The stag is a fairway driver. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Speed eight, glide six, turn negative one, and a fade of two. So pretty. Uh, well, it's over stable, a little overstable maybe. This one should go. This one should go pretty well for me, I think. I've never thrown this stag, and I wouldn't have guessed that that's what this is based on the stamp, because I feel like any stags I've seen have the like a stamp involving a deer in some way, a buck. But yeah, I like it. Definitely a, a disc that will have a chance to make my bag, I think. Those numbers seem more akin to what I'm capable of uh, these days. All right, next disc, I like the colors, white with the orange rim. That should be fairly easy to spot out in the wild when after throwing it. Uh, we've got like a, well, it's a lot of 264 and a diamond here, so this, this very well could be the diamond. It is the diamond. So the diamond is a uh, part of Latitude 64's like easier disc to throw, um, basically for slower arm speeds, which I'm definitely a, a slower arm speed, so slow to, to moderate. Uh, let's see, speed eight, glide six, turn negative three, fade one. Um, this is a disc that I have thrown in the past. I have a diamond that uh, I don't really throw it. I, I think at this point now I kind of turn it over a little bit. Uh, so it's not quite as great for me as maybe it should be, but I'll definitely give this one a go. It's a little bit heavier, I think, than the one that I have. Uh, maybe not. Just kidding, 156 grams. It felt heavier in hand than that, but shows what I know. All right. Next up, we have a putter, I can tell right away. This is, let's see, Westside Discs 
solid black putter with a sparkly blue eagle stamp. I don't know what this putter is. This is a crown. I don't know anything about the crown. The crown is obviously it's a putter. Let me see here. The crown, 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 crown. Speed three, glide four, turn zero, fade one. So just a pretty stable putter. Uh, should fly straight. Maybe maybe just finish a little to the left uh, at the very end. But basically, should be a very straight flying putter. We all need a straight flying putter. So I'll get that one to go. There's the the rim looks like. That one that one has a chance. And our last disc should be our signature series. There it is. B smooth and ace now. Got Jonathan and Johannes. They're sketches of themselves, I guess. And this is a I was expecting a fuse, honestly, but this is not a fuse. I can tell that. This is a claymore. A claymore. Well, that's cool, a Claymore. This is a different mid-range, uh, kind of like the Fuse. Uh, speed five, glide five, turn negative one, fade one. So pretty stable, should fly pretty straight. Um, Claymore is one of those discs that I actually wanted to uh, purchase for myself a while back, and they were out of stock, I think, the last time I looked for these, because I wanted to try one. Um, so definitely excited about this. A little less excited about the green color. I don't know how hard that's going to be finding the grass, but maybe with the white rim it'll be okay. So yeah, those are the five discs out of the summer mystery box. And overall, I'd say I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so yep, thanks for watching, and I guess that's all for now. Goodbye.